Hello, today we're going to see about transmission angle in 4 bar chain mechanism and the problem solving in it. So before that we can see what is cosine law. So it is just a formula for a triangle which is not a right angle triangle. If it is a right angle triangle, uh, this one is A and this one is B and this one is C and this one having right angle, we can use Pythagoras theorem like uh, C square is equal to A square plus B square. But here for a normal triangle, let me consider an angle alpha and the edge opposite to the particular angle is A. So here the formula is A square is equal to the summation of square of remaining two sides P square and C square minus 2BC cos alpha that particular angle. So here is a cosine alpha. So based on the cosine alpha or cos alpha, we have to derive the transmission angle for 4 bar mechanism. So here 4 bar chain mechanism and the link AD and the length of small d is fixed and small a is crank and the b1 is coupler and the c1 is final output link or let me say this one is a rocker. So a is a crank and d is a fixed one. So here there is a 4 bar chain mechanism here the transmission angle is nothing but the angle between the coupler and the rocker or the angle between the coupler and the output link. Suppose if it is a slider crank mechanism for a slider crank mechanism and this one is a fixed point and here is a crank and here is a coupler and here the transmission angle is nothing but the angle between the coupler and the normal to the slider motion. If slider is going horizontal we have to draw the perpendicular line for that and the angle between the coupler and the normal line is transmission angle. So let me see about the 4 bar chain mechanism. In 4 bar chain mechanism the mu that is nothing but the transmission angle which is in between the coupler and the rocker and here how we can calculate this let me divide into two triangles so we can draw a line b to d that is f having the length and then we can say that the triangle a b d and the triangle b c d and the common to the both triangle is the line f b d so let me say the cosine law for that for the triangle number one so here is the angle theta and here is the opposite side f. So f square is equal to the summation of square of remaining two sides a square plus d square minus 2ad the angle cos theta. And similarly for the triangle bcd and here the angle mu and the opposite side is f. So here f square is equal to remaining two sides b square and c square minus 2pc cos the particular angle mu. And here among the two formulas the common thing is f square. So let me equate them. So by equating I can get the formula like that. So here is a common formula and here we can get the maximum and minimum transmission angle by differentiating it or it is known as slope. When we equate the slope is equal to 0 we can get the maximum and minimum angle. So for that we can differentiate the equation once a square will be constant 0, d square will be constant 0 and minus 2ad is a constant 1 and cos theta is nothing but minus sin theta d theta d mu and then b square will be constant 0, c square will be constant 0, minus 2 bc is constant and cos mu when we differentiate about mu it will be minus sin mu. So after that when we simplify it we can get like that. So when we simplify the equation like minus into minus plus and minus into minus plus and, and 2 and 2 we can cancel it and d theta by d mu is equal to let me take like bc sin mu and divided by like ad will be here ad and sin theta and let me say d mu and d theta is equal to inverse of that ad sin theta and divided by bc sin by so this is actually the simplified equation from the previous cosine formulas so when i equate the differentiation of transmission angle is zero i can get the maximum transmission angle and the minimum transmission angle so when it will be 0 means is this is a sine formula right sine will be 0 at uh, 180 degree and 0 degree. So when I put theta or pi is equal to 1 degree and theta degree so I can get the entire equation is 0. So only at 0 degree and only at 180 degree of theta will give the maximum and minimum angle for the transmission angle that's it. So here actually this will be the derivation based on that we can solve the problem. So here we can classify the mechanism based on the length of the particular links. So let me take the case 1. So actually S plus L is less than A plus B. 
S is nothing but the shortest link in the mechanism and L is nothing but the longer one and A and B are remaining two links. So let me take the first mechanism the length is 2 meter and 5 meter and 4 meter and 3.5 meter whatever the unit will be. So here 2 is the shortest one and 5 will be the longest one. So when I add 5 and 2 that will be 7 is less than 3.5 plus for the remaining two links will be 7.5. So when the summation of other two link is more than the summation of shortest and longest then the mechanism comes under class 1 mechanism. So in class 1 mechanism if shortest link next to shortest link is fixed or the shortest link is crank the mechanism will be crank cracker mechanism. I am repeating that the class 1 mechanism is nothing but the summation of shortest and the longest one is lesser than the summation of remaining two links then it will come under class 1 mechanism. In class 1 mechanism if the shortest link is a rotating one it is a crank then the mechanism will be crank and rocker mechanism. In same class 1 mechanism same here see that 4, 3.5 and 5 and 2 here the shortest one is fixed and in previous case the shortest one is crank. So here in same kind 5 plus 2 is less than 3.5 plus 4 here it is also the class 1 mechanism but the shortest link is fixed. So the mechanism will be double crack mechanism both the input and output will be rotating. In previous case only input will be rotating the output will be oscillating that one is a rocker. So that is crank cracker mechanism. In second case in class 1 mechanism there are two cases. In second case the shortest link will be fixed for that the both input and output will be rotating completely so we can say that this one is double crank mechanism and then class 2 mechanism when the summation of shortest and longest will be more than the summation of other two links that will be come under in class 2 mechanism so in class 2 let me take a mechanism like 3.5 that link is fixed and 2.52 and 2.5 the shortest one is 2 and the longest one is 3.5 the summation of both is 5.5 and the other two links 2.5 and 2.5 will be the sum the summation is 5. So here the initial summation of shortest and longer will be higher than the summation of other two links. So the mechanism is known as class 2 mechanism. So here when the link is fixed which is opposite to shorter one the shorter one is here the opposite to shorter one is fixed then the mechanism will be rocker rocker mechanism there is no complete rotation the input and output both will oscillate with each other. So here the both links are oscillating so let me say this one is rocker and this one is rocker and here rocker rocker mechanism. In class 1 mechanism crank and this will be oscillating rocker so crank rocker mechanism and here will be rotating and here will be rotating so crank crack mechanism double crank mechanism and in class 2 mechanism when the link is fixed which is opposite to the shortest one then the mechanism will be input and output will be oscillating so this is rocker and rocker mechanism. Why I am saying the class 1 and class 2 mechanism is based on that only we are going to solve the problem which we need to calculate the transmission angle. So let me take a uh, example for the mechanism which is uh, we can calculate the maximum and minimum transmission angle. In class 1 mechanism let me take an example the crank length is 2. So here uh, already we have seen that when the theta is 0 degree and when theta is 1 degree we can get the maximum angle and the minimum angle. So let me see that here the crank and the fixed one having the angle of 180 degree now that transmission angle will be in maximum we can see that the angle is maximum one and here for the same mechanism it is rotating for clockwise direction and the crank and the fixed one is making zero degree angle so in previous case 180 degree and in the case zero degree now we can see that the angle is completely minimum comparative to previous one here is on the maximum one and here is a minimum one so we can get the transmission angle of minimum value so that's it. So from the previous case we can see we can use a cosine law. So this is the angle and this is the opposite side. Opposite side is a plus d. So a plus d square is equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cos mu maximum. So we can calculate mu maximum here. And the same this will be the triangle. And here the opposite side is d minus a. Here d plus a and here will be d minus a. So d minus a the whole square is equal to b square c square minus bc 2bc cos mu minimum. So based on the condition when we apply 0 degree and 1 degree for class 1 mechanism the diagram will be like that. So here we can calculate the maximum transmission angle and the minimum transmission angle using the cosine law. And in class 2 mechanism let me take 
and here also here also the crank and the fixed one having the angle of 180 degree so actually in class 2 mechanism both will be rocker and rocker right so i can make 180 degree here and i use the cosine formula and here it, it it will not rotate completely so here we can say that this one is minimum when the crank and the coupler having in straight line when the coupler and crank having a straight line then we can get the transmission angle and using cosine law we can calculate it and let me take an example problem here so find the maximum and minimum transmission angle for mechanism shown in figure the figures indicate the dimension in standard units so they didn't mention any unit here we can use the standard one let me take 2 2 meter 3 means 3 meter like that we can take so that's the first mechanism so initially when we see the diagram we have to check that the mechanism comes under class 1 or class 2 either crank rocker mechanism or rocker rocker mechanism or crank double crank mechanism we have to check what kind of mechanism will be and what class in uh, which uh, will come under so here let me see that the shortest one is uh, length 1 and the longest one is length 3 so shortest plus longer summation will be 4 and remaining two links 2 plus 3 summation is 5 so when the shorter and longer summation is lesser than the other two links it will be class 1 mechanism so in class 1 mechanism we can simply say that the maximum angle theta is 20 degree and theta is 0 degree so for the same mechanism we have to draw the diagram with the dimensions so when we draw dimension then only we can say that okay this will be maximum this will be minimum by simply uh, viewing the diagram we can identify that this one is maximum and this one minimum so this will be like a triangle the opposite side is a plus d and other two side is like b and c so a plus d the whole square is equal to like b square and c square minus 2 bc cos mu maximum here a value b value the all values are given a is 1 and b is 3 c is 2 and d is 3 we have to substitute the particular value and we can calculate mu maximum and similarly when we apply the angle between crank and fix 0 degree we can get the minimum transmission angle so for that we have to substitute that the for the triangle here will be d minus a the total length is d and this length will be a so the remaining length is d minus a so d minus a the whole square is equal to b square plus c square minus 2 bc cos mu minimum so when we apply all the dimension we can calculate the mu minimum value this one is the maximum transmission and this one is the minimum transmission so for that we have to identify that which kind of mechanism will be then only we can draw the maximum and minimum diagram and based on the diagram we can use cosine law to calculate mu max and mu minimum value so for class 1 mechanism this is the diagram it will be 1 degree and another will be theta degree uh, 0 degree sorry 0 degree so we can calculate remaining things and come to the second diagram so here will be the longest link will be like 10 and the shortest one is 6 so 10 plus 6 the other two links are 7 plus 8 so 16 this one is 15 so here the summation of shorter and longer will be higher than the summation of remaining two links then it will come under class 2 mechanism if it is class 2 mechanism then there are four chances for the diagrams so the first one uh, we have to draw with dimension okay okay a to d 8 centimeter and a to b 7 centimeter and then we have to make arc from b 6 centimeter and from d 10 centimeter if it is possible then this will be maximum transmission angle if the diagram is possible based on dimension you have to draw the dimension once you can draw the particular diagram this will be maximum and second you have to try that it is 180 right so first you have to 180 degree you can try if it is possible okay and second we have to try for 0 degree and for the given dimensions of 8 7 6 and 10 i cannot draw the particular diagram if I match with 0 degree, the both points are not coinciding. So this diagram is not possible. So let me check the another diagram. Let me make the crank and the coupler in straight line. So when I draw with dimension, this one is possible. So I have to go with this. Again, I can clear that. First, we have to try with 1 degree angle for the given dimension. When you can draw, when it is possible, you have to use the formula and calculate the mu value and second you have to draw with zero degree if it is possible then sum is over that's it with zero degree we have to calculate mu minimum value then the sum is over and previous one is the maximum value when the diagram is possible for the given dimension in previous case also the same but in class one mechanism always it is possible to make one degree and zero degree easily it will be possible for class two mechanism sometimes it will be possible and sometimes it will not 
So let me try the third diagram in which the crank and coupler, this one is crank and this one is coupler, both will be in straight line. So when I make the both link in straight line and when my diagram is a possible one, I have to use the quasine law. Like uh, this one is a triangle and this one is D and this one is A plus B and this one is C. So D square is equal to A plus B the whole square plus C square minus 2A plus B into C cos the same the cosine formula you have to calculate mu value no doubt in that and again we have to try the fourth diagram like we have to make the coupler and rocker in straight line when I make the coupler and the rocker in straight line it is not possible that my crank will not touch the B point so here also not possible so I have to check the four diagram among the four diagram compulsorily two will be possible and two will not be possible so which two one which two are possible we have to check that and we have to solve the problem for a class 2 mechanism if it is a class 1 mechanism in class 1 mechanism means shortest and longer will be lesser than the other two links then no other way 1 degree and 0 degree both will be compulsorily possible you need not to go for remaining two diagrams and you can calculate mu maximum value and mu minimum value but here when it is a class 2 mechanism we have to check with dimension that 1A degree and 0 degree possible any one will be possible if both are not possible remaining two will be possible among the four diagrams two diagram will be possible for that you have you need to draw the diagram with scale with dimensions one which diagram is possible we have to use the cosine law and we can calculate the mu value and thank you for watching